All right, welcome to lesson three. You've made it this far so far. So now we're gonna start getting a little bit deeper into Unify's unique abilities. And one of the most powerful parts of Unify is the macro knobs. The reason being that these can be controlling parameters in any of the plugins that are loaded inside a Unify. Not just one layer, not just one plugin, like most situations when you start working with macro knobs or automation in your DAW. You're only changing parameters for one of the plugins. But here you can set up a knob to where it's changing things in every one of these layers if you wanted to. So we're gonna start really simple. We're gonna start with our patch that we did in lesson one. And there's this pad that's playing, right? I wanna change the volume of the pad. I wanna have that available for automation. Cause the only way to get automation of the sounds inside of Unify are to assign those parameters to the knobs. Because when you go over to your DAW and you have Unify on here and you go to this track and you go to automation, it's gonna show you just the macro knobs is all you get for automation. So you need to set things up to be connected to one of these 32 knobs. And then you can automate that in your sequence while you're creating your song and have it go up and down in volume, change reverbs, change any parameter that you want, but it needs to be done by moving one of these knobs. So I want to change the volume. And to do this one, we're going to go over here, and we're going to say link parameters, and I'm going to use this control. Now, let's go through these controls so you understand them. The ear will listen if it's a plugin that's open, it will listen when you turn the ear on to moving a parameter. Like if I was to go over here to say the flex EQ, and I wanted to change the brightness of the high EQ. If I move this, it immediately grabs it and assigns it to the list because it's listening to plugins that are broadcasting their, their automation lane, basically. So we grabbed it. Not what I want to do here, but just so you know, that's what the ear is for. And that's why we have an ear right here so that you can quickly go like this, open up a plugin, move a knob, and it quickly will just grab the parameter and assign it to the knob so now you can automate it. Super easy, okay? So that is the first of these. The plus button is where you normally go to get to the list of all the layers of your current patch. So as you can see, I have five layers. So I've got five different things here that each have a Unify layer. Uh, some of these might have built-in MIDI effects. And so you can get to the parameters of the MIDI effects. If there's audio effects, it will say effect, and none of these have that, so they don't show that. But I wanna to get to the volume, but before I get to that, let's, let's do this list here because these five controls tell Unify what type of a graph down here to create. This first one says zero to the current value of that knob. So for like volumes, it's great because I only wanna do is go up here to instrument one, to the dream harp and say mix level and there. Now when this knob is at up at the max, it's, it equals the current volume of the sound. So I can have it go away. And when I have it back at max, it equals the current volume of the patch. The other way that we have right here is zero to max. By doing this, it's going to give me a mix volume where it stops and it actually puts the knob at where it currently is in volume. And now I can go all the way to max, which is super loud, or to minimum, because that's what max to minimum means. Uh, the other one is current volume to zero. So this is the kind of the opposite of this first one. If I choose this, then when the knob is at zero, it's current volume. And as I bring it up, I go down to zero. So there is that one. There's also from the max to the current volume. So if you wanted to have it so that, let's go like this and say, instrument one, mix volume, it's gonna go from the max when it's at zero, super loud, to normal value. And what's nice is there's one control over here that's really nice that you could click that will invert so that now it, it works so that it's from the current volume and then vault louder. Not really what I want, but just so you know. And then the last one that's also really handy is current value to current value. So this way, if I say, yes, I wanna go here to the volume, 
It gives me my current value at both the start and the end, and then I can choose what I want it to be, and I could say, oh, I want to go to zero, you know? <laughs> That's why we have this one that will go to zero. Now, the fun thing with the macro knobs that is so powerful is that when you click this and change this, it's changing that parameter. It's changing the value in the plugin while you can hear it. So I can determine what my maximum volume should be. And there it is. So now I have that range to work with. So now I can automate that. Right? And do all sorts of dynamics and so forth with it. It's really, really nice to do that. So that is how you do the macro knobs. Let's have it also do something where, like, say we have... Let's, let's make it even more complicated. <laughs> uh, there, this sound here... It's a nice pad and it's playing DX, which is doing a little thing. I'm going to add something else to this. So let's go to the Unify Standard Library to Pads and let's say Mellow Jaws. And I'm going to right click and say load just instrument one layer into this current patch. So it loads the Guru Sampler. And I need to transpose it up, so I'm going to hold down Option or Alt. And if I open up this Guru Sampler, I can make it darker to brighter. So I want it to start kind of dark like this. And then I'm going to go over here to a macro knob in this Unify layer. This is embedded. It says Unify layer, right? So if I want to change that, I have to first assign it to a knob here. So let's go over here and find a knob that's not doing anything. And let's say pad filter. And then click the little bullet, go link parameters. And I'm going to do minimum to max. And then I can determine, or actually let's just do this. Let's say current volume to current volume. This is a nice one to use for this. And now here's the layers. There's three. The third layer is the new one. Guru sampler filter cutoff. Boom. I have now connected. And then I can go to the max. Because once it gets to a point, it doesn't get super bright. That right there. Like, see how I didn't hear any change here? About right there, it stops. So let's change our max to be about that, okay? Now we can go over here to the top layer to our, this is our pad volume, volume. I'm going to put a little plus at the end of the name because that means I'm going to do more than just the pad. I want to do the filter too. So I just go, let's see, I want to do, it's, a, it's been assigned to a knob inside of that unify layer and I've set, I've optimized the minimum and the max to be the range that I want. So that means I would want to use this parameter, minimum to max, so I get the full range of that knob when I select it. So I hit plus, go to instruments. This is the first layer of the pad. It's a unify layer, so we select that. And then down here we see pad filter. That's the new knob we just created. And boom, it's there. So now as I change the volume of the pad, doing both. 